So we had to have some sort of segue after the last podcast, which was gluten-free, gluten-reduced, right, crafted to remove gluten, however you say, whatever they were. We couldn't just dive fully back into gluten again. No. So we've we, we're, we found a bridge, actually. I guess it's a bridge. Like Maybe so a we've, bridge. We, we're staying We're staying gluten-reduced. Okay. Um, but we're also, we're, we're feeling like we kind of, we've got some extra energy. So active. we're feeling like we've got like kind of an active uh, lifestyle that we need a beer that fits into that. Okay. And apparently stone has our back. So we've got a, uh, another, uh, one of those for this. Give it a shot. <laughs> I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the F and B IPA from stone. Uh, F and B actually the F is for features and the B is for benefits. That's true. So features and benefits IPA. Uh, yeah, it's a, what active active lifestyle active beer. lifestyle this has kind beer. of become something the last i don't know six months to a year we've got we've had things from firestone walker i know dogfish heads come out with uh, uh, this kind of um and there's probably there, there are probably others but this is yeah this i know i saw this just a few months back uh okay and i initially i was like i thought oh something from stone yeah yeah but it's, so it's kind of exciting then that, that we are actually trying it because it usually it should make for some good content. I would hope and so. And could at least make, and who knows, could be a, a good beer that um, we go forth and, and recommend. So we're going to find out. So the stats on this, it is under 100 calories or like right at 100 calories, basically. Uh, it's 4% ABV, uh, 23 IBUs, gluten reduced, 2.9 uh, carbs. I think those are all the, the those are all the big stats, like I said. The but big then, stats. but as they would say on their website, which we have a link to at aboutbeverages.com, uh, it is a hundred percent stone. So that is the only thing that makes me even walk in the doorway for this beer, because right. I do love stone brewing. I will try anything that they uh, go for that they attempt, uh, even though I am not really terribly interested in this in this uh like whatever this uh, market segment yes i guess is the, the way to put it it's yes. not uh, it's not not for me i do not need the michelob ultras i do not yeah, need my, all those my active lifestyle beverage of choice is usually not a beer is so. usually the full beer because i will be active <laughs> enough that i can enjoy that full beer but That's, again uh, if you cannot or want to experience something different, that is why we are here for you today. That's right. And uh, I think it's good that we are coming at it from that perspective of that. This maybe isn't something that we either need to have or necessarily want to have. So if we do really like this, then I think then, it's wow, even a revelation. Yeah, I think it's, yes, it is a revelation. I think is even more interesting. Oh my God. I almost thought it was water when I was wow, pouring it. That is light looking. Holy business. Oh. I actually watch when I go to pour for a split second. It is. Very clear. The actual pour from the bottle, I thought it was pouring water. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. And, with and you. it's not in the glass when you see no, that, and it's hard for all. you to tell on our uh, on our okay, screen. Okay, so if you go to the, just gonna put it in front of your shirt. There, there, we, there go. we go. Okay. Uh, is yeah, S straw. What do we like to do there? Yeah, Yellow, something like Chardonnay. That. No, yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh. What do we go for? Maybe a maybe a Chardonnay. Okay. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so this is a, this is gonna be very interesting. Like I said, not even the IBUs aren't even super high. Uh, hops in here they use cashmere. Uh, Vic Secret Mosaic, well, like I said, so a good little pairing of uh, things there. So Vic Secret, see. Vic Secret. I As know, in like Victoria's Secret. I, I don't know. Well, no, Vic. It sounds like maybe the Victoria's Secret, like the male version in New Jersey or something. Like that. Hey, look, it's Vic Secret it's over Vic here. Secret, hey. It's Vic Secret over here. <laughs> uh, it's, I don't know what made me think of that, but yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of. It's an interesting hop name. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> what are you What are you thinking there? Like you, thinking, usually we think for a minute, but I think you've got some thoughts to. It almost tastes. It almost smells like coffee, or smoke, or dare I say, not good. I, I don't oh, know. There's coffee. Where are you getting coffee? There's something almost smoky. I'm getting fishy. Skunky, fishy. I could go fishy, I guess. Something, you know, like you know, like maybe like some fresh shrimp, maybe something like that. Well, I'm not getting shrimp. Maybe that's the Vic secret. <laughs> he, was, oh. he was just out the long shore. Oh, Vic. Oh, Vic. <laughs> I know what your secret is. Your You're a fisherman. Been, that's right. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's a, a combination uh, of a lot of different aromas, and that none I'm of them of, are ones I want in my beer. No, not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> To agree with you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know what? Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Good luck. See you on the other side. <laughs> See you on the other side. The taste is better than the aroma. <laughs> I 
<laughs> said that was a question, but it, the taste is better than the aroma. Usually, your voice would go up higher when you say that. Like the that's what I was doing. Than like, the the taste is better than the aroma. <laughs> um, lemon water. Like it tastes like lemon water. Like it's it's very very clean. Very like I said, which I'd expect. Like I was not expecting a lot of flavor no, out of this. I was no, hoping I was for either. a little bit more. Yes. Uh, you know. Maybe they meant 100% stone, as in they use stones within the brewing process. I guess part of the water filtration. Why stone? Why? No. Um, yeah, I get, I get lemon, um, maybe some other little fruit in there, very empty. Like I said, it's only got 23 IBUs, so it wasn't going to be super bitter either. Um, oh. Yeah, the, the lemon, lemon water... Lemon water, maybe is, peach. I don't know. There's something. There's wow. some other. There's some other little like citrus in there. I can't quite put a finger on what exactly it is, but yeah, lemon water. I guess is what I would. Uh, what jumped out to me immediately was because it was that very little. Like I said, there was a little pinch kind of in the middle of my tongue that I was like, yeah. it's a little tart. But it is. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, I mean, I would have to be really active to desire this. I would have to be it's, on an island. So active. So active. Island. So active. You're spinning. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, okay. Okay. But have you had other things in this category that then you can say that this is not the best one of them? <laughs> the only thing is I, I believe I've had, like I said, I actually, the, the, the fly, I think it's called the fly Jack from, uh, Firestone okay. Walker. Okay. And be, based on what I picked up from that, is why I wasn't excited when I saw this come in. Because okay. I thought, okay, the, they, these are probably all going to be... Because Stone is a great brewery. A Firestone Walker is a great brewery. Dogfish, th these, right. are, these are great breweries. They make wonderfully creative, innovative things. Sure. And I understand what they're going for here or why, and why they're doing it. I guess, maybe I don't understand why they're doing it, but I understand, <laughs> I understand what they're going for um, and, and, and what they're trying to achieve. I mean, maybe I just... Maybe there, maybe there's a marketing segment. Is this trying to compete with seltzers? Is this is this? I that? don't know. Um, because seltzers are seen as more healthy, even though there's it's sugar and five percent alcohol. Yeah, and and not a lot of carbs. Is that maybe what this is? Is I hadn't the, thought about that, but that's I, actually I, I don't know if oh, that's, that's I don't know if that's the the the, the competition or. And you know what, too? I, I obviously, I, I don't think either one of us is the target for this. No, of course not. This might be something someone has. Uh, the, uh, maybe this is a, the new lawnmower beer. Maybe this oh. is the new outside beer. Shower uh, beer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no? Beer to take in the shower. Yeah, you've never heard of that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you want something super crisp and refreshing, and you're taking the hot shower, and you get the can of sho the shower beer. I don't. That's not crisp and refreshing, though. It's pretty crisp because it's like literally water. Like I, I get like, is it, that's why I call it. Lemon water. You refer to like, your glass of ice water. <laughs> that's crisp. That's, that's that's water brisk, is crisp. Baby. That's crisp, baby. Oh my God. Those that's, commercials. That's crisp, baby. <laughs> yeah, that is a, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, I never got, like I said, any of the, like I, said, I know you were mentioning smoky earlier and some other things. Like I didn't get that. Um, I think this, maybe the smoky is more of that. Metallic y. European. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. Maybe going on. that's, you know, that's there's probably a sunflower seed in it's there. It's probably the malts or something in there mm. or, or something that's giving it that. And that's probably what I initially uh, picked up on that. And that's probably not right. There's uh, a hint of Lagunitas like daytime in there. Like that, like the sunflower seed thing that I always call out. I think there's a hint okay. of that in the aroma. I don't really get that in the taste. Like I said, yeah, literally the taste is like clean, gone. Like I said, a little bit of lemon tart. And like yeah. that's kind of it. Like I said, maybe some other citrus or like peach or something like there's a little but it's it's very light uh yeah it's it's not for me i knew i knew it wasn't i guess i was just hoping that like wow maybe that'd be something you know, like wow that actually is pretty good like you know when you've had some like the, there's a couple different you know every once in a while you find that beer that you randomly don't think that you should like right and you do and you're like oh yeah. this is kind of cool that i like this yeah. one and oh this one's not that expensive for a yeah. change and like that's great right. uh like i said but this uh is, or you think is not like the, I, I don't need to have a beer while i'm doing yard work but you think it'd be great by the pool it'd be great in the summer yeah the pool well we talk Something, about the pool beer yeah, all the time lower yeah. alcohol yeah. and uh, but the refreshing and, and keeping yeah. you hydrated and all that kind of stuff but yeah that's yeah give me a sequence or something like that from dogfish oh, yeah. or something like that like yeah, absolutely 
Uh, I agree. Well, we had to do it for science. And if you want to find out more of the things that we have done, uh, not only for uh, science, but possibly uh, like our complete enjoyment, uh, you can head over to the website at aboutbeverages.com. That's where you can find over uh, over a decade, 12 years worth of uh podcasts, videos, all that kind of stuff are there. If you only want the latest video content, uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube. We'd really appreciate that. You can find, uh, like I said, all the latest and greatest. And if you subscribe, guess what? It'll uh, pop up uh, for you, letting you know whenever we have our new podcast, which come out pretty much weekly. We've got something new coming out for you uh, and you can uh, watch those. If you only want audio, we've got you covered there. If you're out and about uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast. If you have a service that you enjoy for listening to podcasts, just search for About Beverages, subscribe to us, and we will be there, uh, and we appreciate that. That helps us out uh, a ton. We have some other places on the World Wide Web's of course, as the kids say, uh, that you can find us. You can also find us on social media at uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, Twitter is the one we use the most often just because... Uh, well, just because we do seems to be because <laughs> we it, do. It fits yeah. our it fits sure. what we need to do the best. It fits our active uh, lifestyle. It fits our active lifestyle. <laughs> and yeah, no, uh, no. Uh, Twitter fits our active lifestyle much better. Uh, we uh, we tweet and let you know what's going on here at the channel. Um, I tweeted actually just earlier tonight when we before we started recording before we went live on Twitch TV slash about beverages. We're gonna let you know most Thursday nights when we are uh, ready to try some things and interact with you and have a little fun. Uh, Andrew also is tweeting throughout the week, letting you know uh, when he's going to be gaming and what he will be doing. And um, yeah, it's a, a great way to, to keep in touch with us and uh, and share what you might be drinking and also share along with, uh, with what we're drinking as well. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.